welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Carrie. Usually I share Cricut projects with you guys, but today I'm pulling out my We Create Vision laser engraver to work on some orders. I'm going to show you how to laser engrave a tumbler with the We Create Vision laser engraver using the rotary attachment. My Cricut machine is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I really love my new laser engraver. I definitely prefer my laser engraver over my Cricut for projects like this because the vinyl that you put on a tumbler can peel off. It's definitely not permanent, even though the vinyl is called permanent vinyl. If you put it in the dishwasher, it can peel. If you soak it in hot soapy water, it can peel. And just after a few years of normal use, it can peel. The laser engraver burns all the way through this paint, so it really is permanent. Nothing is going to peel off. I also prefer the laser because you don't have to buy any additional materials. If you were to make the same project with a Cricut machine, you'd have to buy vinyl, transfer tape. You have to replace the mats periodically. There's more work involved when it comes to measuring the cup and how big you want the design. With the We Create, I like how you can just drag and drop and see how it looks on the camera. It's just a much nicer, permanent product. And the quality is really professional. Like, you can definitely sell stuff like this with a business. My friend is getting married and asked me to laser engrave some bridal party gifts for her. I picked up some of these 40 ounce Hydra Quench stainless steel insulated tumblers from Five Below. They're basically a knockoff Stanley water bottle, but only $5 instead of $50. My daughter has a real Stanley, so you can see just how similar they are. The biggest difference is that the inside of these bottles from Five Below are plastic, and the Stanleys are stainless steel. The 8-year-olds at my daughter's school were quick to point out that the lids are different too. But to me, they're basically the same. Before we put this tumbler into the machine, it helps to remove the handle. If you look on the bottom of the handle, you'll see that there's two screws. So you're going to want to grab yourself a screwdriver and just unscrew these two screws. There's still these two little L brackets on here, but that's okay. We need to figure out what the perimeter is of one of these cups. So the way that I do that is with a measuring tape. So grab the tape and wrap it around the cup. The perimeter of this cup is 12 and 3 8 inches. Make sure you write that down because you're going to need to know that when you get into the WeCreate software. Next, I'm going to go over to the WeCreate Vision Laser and show you how to install the rotary attachment. So you'll see right here it says to turn off device before plugging and unplugging the rotary. Make sure the on off switch is switched to off. Then we're going to remove these grates. So just pull them up carefully, set them aside. Right here, you'll see two screws. You need to take an Allen wrench and unscrew those screws. This is the Allen wrench that came with the WeCreate. So we're just going to loosen these up. Make sure you place these somewhere where you will not lose them. This is what the rotary attachment looks like. On the bottom, you'll see this pin right here. This pin needs to slide into this hole. You'll also see these two holes. These are going to go over those screw holes that we just unscrewed. So carefully line the pin up in the middle. Then we're going to take those two screws that we just unscrewed and screw the rotary into place. Then the last thing we need to do is plug this into right here. There's little holes in it, so make sure the holes line up. So you'll see right here there's a wire. You want to make sure that this wire goes underneath your cup so that you don't accidentally laser engrave through the wire. Next, you want to take a look at your cup and figure out which side the handle would be on. So you can see this is if you were holding it on the right side. This would be if you're holding it on the left side. If you want your design to be here when you're holding it on the left side, you have to put it in this way. I want my design to be showing when I'm holding it from the right side of the handle, so I'm going to put it in this way. You want to slide it into here, and then you can tighten or loosen it with this little dial. It's the opposite of righty-tighty, so you want to tighten it by turning it to the left. Just twist it until it's tight. Next, you want to take this piece and slide it underneath your tumbler and raise this little wheel so that it touches your tumbler. If you turn it to the right, it raises it, and if you turn it to the left, it lowers it. So slide this under here. Right now it's too high, so I'm going to lower it. Now 
Now you want to grab your little level and place it onto the cup and try to get your cup to be as level as possible. Now the cup is in the rotary and it's nice and level so we can move over to the We Create software and work on our design. I'm going to be laser engraving the bridal party's names in the word bridesmaid onto the tumbler. For the name, I'm going to be using the font called Outside, and for Bridesmaid, I'll be using a font called Simple Grinches. Both of these fonts are from Creative Fabrica. I subscribe to their all-access subscription, which gives me unlimited downloads to everything on their site. They have thousands of laser cut files, fonts, graphics, mock-ups, classes, and more. And all of their products come with a commercial license, so if you want to sell projects with your laser engraving business or Cricut business, you're legally covered. If you've never used Creative Fabrica before, I would definitely recommend checking them out. You can sign up for a year of unlimited downloads for just $47 right now. I used to pay $29 a month for this same subscription that you can now get for just $3.99 a month. It's a crazy good deal and totally worth it. You can sign up for a free trial to them through a link down below in my video description. Once you have the subscription, all you have to do is click the big green download button. Then open up the We Create software. In the upper right hand corner, click New Project. Then you want to click Laser Cylindrical. Right here you'll see the material. It's set to basswood. We need to change that. So if you scroll down, we're working with stainless steel. The options are black, blue, or just stainless steel. I'm just going to click black. And this is where we type in the perimeter. So I'm going to type in 12.37. Now I can type in my text. So click text and click on the screen, and I'm going to type Ashley. The font that I'm using is called Outside. If you click Font, I can search for Outside. I'm going to zoom in so I can see better. Next, I'm going to type in the word Bridesmaid. So click Text, make another text box. I want Bridesmaid to be in the font Simple Grinches. If you want to shrink it down, you can use this double arrow. If you hold the shift button, it'll keep it to scale while you shrink it. And drag this over. Now I'm going to highlight them both and click Fill and Grave. I'm going to change this to 150 and the number of passes to 2. This means that it's going to laser engrave it twice to make sure that it goes all the way through the paint. Now I'm going to click on here and select which color that I want. I've never laser engraved a pink tumbler before, so I'm not entirely sure. This takes some practice and trial and error. It definitely helps to have a test cup before you go and make anything that you're gonna sell. This is my test cup, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. I need to rotate my design, so I'm gonna click 90, and that rotates it exactly how I want it. And now we can drag and drop because the WeCreate has a camera, so I don't actually have to measure my design. I just have to make it look right on the picture. Now I'm going to click start and the machine is going to measure the cup. Double check that everything looks good, which it does. So then I can click send and it estimates that it should take 12 minutes and eight seconds to cut. Now I can go ahead and press start on my machine. The laser just finished, so let's open it up and take a look inside. It's a good thing that I decided to do two passes because with only one pass, the name looked black. You couldn't see any of the stainless steel showing through. With the second pass, it burned all the way through the black and the name looked shiny and silver like we want. I really love how this tumbler came out. It looks so perfect. To get the cup out, we can loosen this and gently pull the cup out. Now I just need to screw the handle back on. So to put the handle back on, remember that the screws go on the bottom. There's two little holes on the handle. Make sure that the bottom hole goes onto the bracket. 
then just screw that back in. Now our cup looks perfect. Sometimes when your cup comes out of the machine, it will look a little smoky. There will be some blackness around the letters from where it got lasered. My favorite way to get rid of that is with vinegar. Just grab a towel and some vinegar and gently rub it. So just the plain old vinegar you would get at the grocery store. Nice, fresh, big bottle. Now we can clean this up. Vinegar works so good for getting those smoky smudges off. If you're interested in purchasing one of these We Create Vision lasers, I'll leave a link down below in my video description. Since I am a part of their affiliate program, I will earn a small commission if you buy a laser through my link. I hope that you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial learning how to laser engrave a tumbler using the We Create Vision laser. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I post new content every single week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.